now we are going to discuss about the applications of the first law of thermodynamics the one of the application is work done during the expansion of a gas let us take a container of a finite volume this container was filled with some amount of gas initially up to here gas was filled or we can say that some amount of gas was there which was tightly fixed in this volume there is a piston a mechanical piston and this mechanical piston was arranged to compress the gas which was inside the container like this this is the piston when the piston was pressed tightly towards the depth of the container yes this is the volume of the gas let us say some small v when we released the piston loosely then some external force which is in the upward direction acts on the piston while we are releasing it then there is a possibility for the expansion of gas when the gas was expanded during the releasing of the pressure by the piston then the its volume may changes to v plus dv also so the diagram will be like this so this dotted lines is the new position of the piston so the remaining part is the big dotted lines indicates the volume of the gas which was initially in the container maybe the gas gas may be diluted means concentration may decrease during the expansion but volume is increasing initial volume is v whenever the releasing of the pressure its volume increases to v plus dv there is a small change in the volume is dv therefore change in volume during expansion is equal to final volume minus initial volume therefore it is v plus dv minus v therefore it is dv the change in volume is dv so what we can expect what is the work done to increase the or to expand the gas work done to expand the gas is equal to w is equal to f into s where f is equal to force s is equal to displacement so here the force is on the basis of the pressure applied because the piston is applying the pressure on the gas molecules so we should convert the force on the gas molecule in terms of the pressure so therefore we can write that pressure is equal to force by area this results to force is equal to pressure into area the displacement taken by the gas molecules from the first position to the initial position let us say it is as dx a small displacement in the expansion therefore we can say s is equal to dx so therefore work done w is equal to where f is equal to p into a where s is equal to dx and we can say that w is equal to p into a into dx and i am multiplying this area into small displacement this area into small displacement we can write p dv because area into displacement is volume therefore there is the work done w 
If the work done is during the small displacement, we can write the W as DW is equal to PDB. Therefore, total work done is equal to integral DW is equal to integral PDV from the limits V1 to V2. Therefore, W is equal to P into V2 minus V1. Integral DV will become V between the limits V2 to V1. We can say that according to the ideal gas equation, So, what we can write is, the ideal gas equation is PV is equal to NRT. But here we got PDV. If volume is variation, under the variation with respect to the temperature, then we can write NRDT also. DV means we are writing P into V2 minus V1 is equal to nr into t2 minus t1 this is nothing but the work done during the expansion therefore work done during the expansion of gas is equal to nr into t2 minus t1 if we see the first law of thermodynamics, we can say dq is equal to du plus dw, therefore dq is equal to du plus where dw is equal to pdv. This is one of the form of the first law of thermodynamics and with, with the help of specific heat capacity formula we can write dq is equal to tds because ds is equal to dq by dt therefore tds is equal to du plus pdv this is also one of the form of uh, first law of thermodynamics it uh, the working of this formula means if you want to use this formula to solve any numerical it depends upon the situation if work done is given in the concept of pressure and volume we should use this formula if heat energy supplied was given in the concept of specific heat and temperature we should use this formula so these are the rules what we can get during the work done during the expansion of a gas now we will see some of the graphs which are related to the different works if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus